Doug, uh, we had the town hall meeting in East Palestine. You've got more hearings coming up. Give us an update on that, Doug Mastriano. Yeah, yeah, hats off to you, John, and your team for, for keeping the, the spotlight on East Palestine and Western Pennsylvania. I mean, you were there for my first hearing in Menaka and Beaver County on the Ohio border. Uh, you spent a lot of time in East Palestine last week talking to the people, giving them a voice. Uh, the people that I'm in communication with are so thankful for you and Steve for all that you've done to, uh, you know, once again, put that spotlight on them because they, they, they still have not been taken care of. Uh, there has been no emergency order declared. Uh, as far as you know, the, the aftermath, they only had an emergency during the crisis, but you know, it needs to be declared. And why hasn't been, de been declared in Ohio and Pennsylvania? Why do I harp on that? Because that was free money in Pennsylvania and Ohio. Pennsylvania, five million dollars instantly would be available to the people and businesses to help them with relief or whatever they need to do. And that would also trigger federal mon uh, money from FEMA to come out. And so these folks. They have to, you know, beg and scratch for the scraps that are thrown to them by Norfolk Southern or Ohio and Pennsylvania. Um, and I believe if this happened, you know, in, in a Democrat city like Philadelphia, we, we would have seen a completely different response. And so the folks that are trapped there, one house was sold, you know, on Darlington Road in Darlington, Pennsylvania, which is, you know, in the zone. Uh, it was about a, th a about a buck a foot they, this one family sold the house for. They're losing 15,000% of, of the value of that home and the two acres uh, before this crisis here. You know, we, I talked about the Kent family. They testified. You met them. You know, they have nine horses, about four dogs, and two two or three cats. I mean, wh where do you go? Where do you, how do you move if you don't have the money and uh, you have lots of needs? You know, Katie Schwarzwalder with, with her uh, dog kennel raising world-class Dobermans. I, last time I talked there, she's still living in a friend's basement with, with 20 or 30 dogs with no fence in the yard. I mean, it's going from a world-class kennel, best I've seen, John, I'm no exaggeration, that, that's ruined, it's contaminated. I, I went in there and I got sick but with the poison and toxins. Where does she go? And you know, they need relief now. And now we're pushing two months and we're getting nothing but a lot of talk from the politicians. And the governors that have the executive power to do something have walked away from them. I, I'm speaking specifically to Pennsylvania here. Josh Shapiro was part of the decision-making process here to, to ignite this this ridiculous uh, toxins and, and to send the poisons across the nation and then walked away from them, you know, went, went to the Grammys, that, that raunchy Grammys this year, then went to the Super Bowl, just, just shucking it up and having a great time, and it was, just walked away from the people of Pennsylvania. This is just ridiculous.